Thanks. <laughs> what led to this decision to A, do this now and, and, and B, give up football permanently? Give up football permanently. <laughs> um, well, uh, first of all, I don't know if my body would let me play anymore. Um, no, I, I just think that, uh, you know, it's a awesome opportunity uh, that the Eagles were able to give me a uh, comeback and, uh, you know, do like a, a little honorary contract thing. It's just cool. Um, my career, the way it ended, it, it kind of fizzled out in a different, you know, vision than I had. Um, and this just kind of, uh, I guess, is wrapping it all up for me. Um, my family, uh, just kind of putting a little closure on the whole thing. and. Uh, to be honest, it just felt weird. The last contract I signed wasn't for the Eagles. So uh, whether it's fake or not, whether I get any money for a bonus or not, it just it just seems right to, to finish as an Eagle. What have the motions been like the last couple of days, thinking about it and being here at the facility today? Um, I mean, it's, it's not like a, a final decision that I made. It's more like something that, you know, I feel like the Eagles are you know, allowing us to do. It's just really cool. Um, I've mentally been done playing for a few years now. Uh, I chased it for a couple months, <laughs> realizing that it was probably just a good idea for both sides to just go other uh, our other ways. But um, no, it's uh, you try to remember, you reflect on your career, you kind of go through you know the years, the early years, the later years, the good years, the bad years, and it's just it's an experience that I'll never get back in and you know uh, I owe so much to the organization of the Eagles um, my family members uh, the fans um, just for supporting me and, and uh, providing me room to grow you know not being too hard on me when I was a rookie um, believing in me and then uh, you know having the success that we had you know obviously not the success, the success that we wanted to have um, but great to see that success finally come to Philadelphia you too. Able to what do you play a little bit last year's success having known a lot of the guys? Yeah well one of my best friends you know I think a lot of people know is Brent Selleck and just being able to you know talk to him on the phone going through the whole thing um, you know seeing what it was like um, the swag that they get in the hotel room when they show up and so these are all things like I don't have any clue about so it was just awesome to hear and um, you know the guys that I was able to, to sweat and bleed with like Kelsey and Selleck and Peters and Lane and and some of the guys on defense and stuff it was just so proud for them and happy for them you know it, it's it's a really an incredible feat a lot of the guys from your a lot of the guys from your tenure here, Brent, Trent, yeah. those guys have been able to come back and, and be honored. What does that say about the organization that they were able to do that? Uh, it's their, their first class, you know. Um, I was able to experience that firsthand, you know. The, there's nothing, well, the Eagles organization is the first organization I was able to be a member of. So everything, to me, just seems second rate from there. Um, but, you know, they're just a, a great organization that are they're keeping their alumni um, intact. Uh, we're a tight group. A lot of the guys love to live right here around the city and remain uh, involved. Um, and there's just there's a lot of opportunity for that that the Eagles provide. It's awesome.